up and under where we get to know about the DHL Stormers and the players. We're very lucky to have my partner here, Jean Villas, and then Nick Groom. Lovely, lovely stuff. You know what? Up and under, it's going to be an exciting season. DHL Stormers taking on some exciting teams. Anton, first up. I mean, flicky has been around for a while. What's it like being under him? He's been there for ages, like you say. He's a really good coach and the players respond well to him. So I've thoroughly enjoyed it, you know. I think we share similar values and sort of um, similar perspectives on how the game should be played. So that's really, really exciting. And, and, and what the, the response he's getting from the players has been pretty encouraging. What's the vibe in the team? Is the mix right this year? Yeah. Look, I mean, I've just turned 26 and I'm I'm probably considered old, I think, in the team, which is quite quite concerning. Um, but yeah, we got, I mean, there's a couple of old geezers there, Scala and <laughs> Yano from Mark and JC, but there's such a good mix, you know. We need that experience, but at the same time, we need that, like, that raw, just fearless approach from the youngsters, which is really cool. And I think we've created quite a nice environment where Guys, you know, no matter what your age is, you know, you can all contribute and we can all like, you know, mix our strengths together. Tell us a bit what it's like to grow up loving Western Province and to now be playing. I mean, this is everyone's sort of dream and you're actually living it. For the last 16 years, I've, I've lived within walking distance from Newland. So walking to the stadium, you know, with my old man or with the family, whatever the case may be, just soaking it all up from a, from a really, really young age, you know. Um, if I'm dead honest, I would never in my wildest dreams would have sort of seen this happening right now. But um, yeah, it, it happened quite quick, quickly and I'm just you know, very, very grateful to be you know, where I am playing for a team like the Storm. You travel a lot. How's it being away from home? Yeah, I, I'd say the traveling in the Carry Cup isn't necessarily the most glamorous affair. I think, you know, there's only so many times you want to go to Niles Brett in your life, <laughs> to be honest. Yeah. But <laughs> Super Rugby is pretty pretty good, I must say. You, you get to see some really awesome places. Um, you know, you also, you know, you stay in some really good hotels, like on the beach in Sydney, and, and, and you get treated really well. I, I guess you just miss your own bed at home, and you miss like the little things, and you miss sort of not having this exchange rate, but otherwise it's just kind of, you know, enjoying the experience. I guess I'm at that age now, I don't have a family yet in my own way. You know, I'm like longing to get back to them, or I don't have kids, so it's a bit easier to travel, so. Yeah, touring's always a vibe. What's your, what's your favorite destination to, to travel to? I mean, I'm presuming now spread's not... Uh, no, no. I'd say... Uh, <laughs> Kimberley. Yeah. <laughs> Jeez. No disrespect yeah. to any of our uh, Storm Bits supporters from, uh, <laughs> from, uh, from those Maybe. areas. Maybe. <laughs> um, probably Sydney. I think, I think we, we get treated really well there. Um, we, we normally spend like two weeks like on the eastern beaches, you know, Bondi, Kuji, like out there, staying at a hotel on the sand. So it's pretty good out there. Um, are we going to Melbourne as well this year, which I'm quite excited about. Mm. Um, apparently, I've I've only been there once, and I was I spent eight hours in the hotel finishing an assignment for varsity, so <laughs> didn't see much of Melbourne. Um, and then obviously Singapore, which I haven't been to. Um, I've been to Buenos Aires, which was mind blowing. So I'm I'm you know, hoping I get to go and experience that. Growing up in in, uh, in Cape Town and being a Cape Town boy and loving the beaches in Sydney, uh, hitting up the surf. Yeah, we actually went on a nice little surf last last uh, year. Um, we took we rented some boards and headed out in Bondi. Oh yeah, surfer. You mean? Yeah, I surf every now and then. I mean, with my knee, it's a bit tricky sometimes. Yeah. But yeah, every chance I get, I, I love to get in the water. You know, whether it be like having a long board or just going for like a nice body surf or whatever. We rented some boards in last year, and it was so funny. Like to get the Evan Esbet on a long board. <laughs> It's basically <laughs> like he's surfing a jetty. So, I don't think they may, I've never seen boards that big in my life, but it was really fun. Who do you like to room with, um, and then who's your, yeah. your, your, your partner of choice on tour? <laughs> well, I mean, I'm at such a crossroads this coming season because for the last five years I've been rooming with Dimitri. And um, uh, yeah, so I don't know, actually, I'm, I'm holding interviews at the moment to see he's going to kind of, you know, take the plunge. <laughs> you can't have someone that snores or smells yeah, or something. Yeah, you know, it's you know, strict, it's strict, strict. Yeah, yeah. Dem needs to pass off on it as well, so there'll be Skype interviews, conference call stars. Behind the scenes, is there a bit of a head boy uh, in, between the, in between the players behind the scenes that sort of takes charge? Or is it sort of every man for himself and the two of you that are, that are rooming just, just stick together? You know, you can't, you can't spend a month in your hotel room watching like DVDs or play PlayStation. <laughs> 
Um, so we try and do stuff on tour, like we'll create like team events, team functions, we go on a lot of team dinners, so like mm. once or twice a week on tour we'll, we'll head out for a team dinner. Yeah, we need we need guys to kind of lighten the mood a bit, you know, mm. it can get a bit serious sometimes. Um, just to kind of chill out and stuff, you know, you get a few characters on tour, Jean de Jong is always, you know, he's, he's got a lot of energy on tour. Um, and he, we always organizing things, guys play a bit of golf, you know, you know, catch a train or whatever into town. Host love shopping, it's bizarre. Like, bizarre. <laughs> so you're saying the yeah. stormers, I did not see that. <laughs> the stormers love shopping. You'll be surprised as to how much cargo comes home. Like, <laughs> well, what, are they, what, what do they buy? Uh, shoes? <laughs> shoes, like caps. Um, like basically all the stuff you can't get here, you know. But who's the sort of the funniest guy and the sort of the jokester of the of the team? Um, yeah, I, I don't know. Jean de Jong, yeah, get funny, um, lots of energy, like I said. Um, cast like uh, Ollie Kebb will bring a, bring an interesting dynamic. Probably the driest man in in Cape Town. <laughs> <laughs> Often uh, between him and Hugh Jones, there's a lot of banter that just pff, straight over his head. So, <laughs> so you know, yeah. Which teams are, are you think are looking quite dangerous this year? With this new travelling format, where we don't have to, you know, spend a month on the road like previous years. You know, it really is going to be, it's going to be, I think, much more contested, those away games. You know, teams who in the past maybe weren't so good on the road um, are now going to, you know, like really target those two weeks overseas to really get some points. But overall, it's one of those tournaments. There's no easy games in there. Nick, but it has been an absolute pleasure. Thank you so much for coming in. It's been really interesting for us uh, to get to know you uh, a bit better. DHL Storm has been coming for you this season.